Opposition Senator Dominic Fede has chided the SLP administration, describing its focus on protecting the party's election victory as unfortunate. This, he says, should not be the focus at a time when St. Lucians are being affected by a myriad of economic and social ills. The former minister argues that at this point in time, providing social assistance to St. Lucians should be at the forefront of the government's agenda, not promoting political rhetoric. It is rather unfortunate that whilst the people of St. Lucia are being defeated every day by very high unemployment rates, by a spiraling out of control crime rate, by very high cost of living, that the St. Lucia Labour Party administration is talking and focusing about protecting the victory. What victory are we talking about? Now, there could not be anything more political anything more ridiculous or anything more absurd or self-centered. You have won the election. It's been 15 months. Even your own supporters have taken issue with your performance. It is now time for you to focus on governing this country and bringing about prosperity and progress for all St. Lucians whether they supported the St. Lucia Labour Party. While highlighting the economic burdens the general public has had to endure over the last year, Fede questioned why local fuel prices continue to remain high whilst the global decline in the cost of oil has been realized. Oil prices had been sharply rising for the better part of the past 12 months and rates skyrocketed due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February. However, in September 2022, the U.S. benchmark oil price fell below U.S. $80 a barrel for the first time since the start of the year, a steep decline from the U.S. $120 a barrel a few months ago. The price of an LPG 20-pound cylinder, as we speak today, is now at $45. Something that was in the late 20s, early in the year, has now gotten out of control and is quickly coming out of the reach of many St. Lucians, many of the poorest of the poor that the Labour Party likes to talk about. Um, you look at the price of gas, it remains extremely high at um, the current prices. We have seen no significant decline, while we continue to see that the price on, of crude oil on the world market is actually reducing. So why do we continue to not make those adjustments in the price of petrol and petroleum products at our various uh, gas stations? Meanwhile, on Monday, at a pre-cabinet press briefing, that same question about local fuel prices was posed to the Prime Minister, who explained why there has not been a significant drop in the local price of fuel and crude oil products. But we still haven't reached our budget at the moment. The budget... The budgeted amount in the budget for fuel fuel prices, for fuel revenue, we haven't reached it. Well, our either prices continue to drop, we hope that our input will be able to come up. So you hope that something will get a little relief? Once the prices drop, the customer will get relief. 